Oh, Special Conditions Arena Takedown. Wow, that's going to be fun. Although the real question is, is it going to be worth it? The previous one wasn't that great, and I have a picture for you guys. I'll show you that in a second. But uh, also, like, do you have to go out of your way to build a team for this to work? So in today's video, I'm going to show you one or two or three teams that you could potentially be using, including a 100% free-to-play team that you can definitely use to farm all those bots. All right, so before we dive into the arena, let me quickly remind you guys that I stream on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Friday nights, which means that today I will be streaming on Twitch at 7.30 Eastern Time, so do join us for the fun, stack up your loyalty points so that you're ready to go for the next gem giveaways, because this is where I do them. Also, another quick announcement, we're going to have a two-chance sacred event, so if you want to hold on to your shards and let me open them on Friday night on stream, uh, that would be fun as well, although I am going to say this maybe it's not the perfect time to summon there most likely is going to be a champion chase tournament maybe you're going to fuse iron brago you're going to get some points there yada yada great i already did mine uh but if you have any other sort of fusions just sitting there that you could do do that however don't forget we're probably going to have another fusion at some point and also a new faction at some point so if you want to start hoarding your shards for that specifically I will not blame you. I will probably be doing something very similar myself still, maybe for a couple of easy points. I will pop one or two or three. We'll see how many I have by then. Now, on to uh, the previous tournament, which was mono faction teams only in each battle. And as you can see, I finished in second place. I did not go out of my way to make this work, however. That is what I want to point out today. I do have a team that works as is and i have those champions geared for something else so i'm going to cover that team and then i want to cover other potential teams you could be using depending on how many fusions you've completed in the past and ideally this is what you want you want pages of bots so we're, we're going to take on some bots just you know prove a point that you can literally get away with stuff that is not exactly perfect so uh what about high elves right because um i've got myself a pretty fancy arbiter why not throw Pixniel in there? Because, I mean, she's a legendary and I fused her. I might as well use her for something. And then let's try to find other High Elves champions that are geared, basically, at this point. Royal Guard, sure. Let's put Royal Guard in. And, uh, yeah, let's do our uh, Jingle Hunter here. And let's take on this team of bots to see if this works. Full auto. This is the only way this is going to work for me is if I have nothing to do. Boom. Beautiful. I got attacked and that kind of hurt. All right. I mean, this works, right? If it's only bots like this, I can pull this off. It's slow, though. A little bit too slow. I don't have decreased defense because the game refuses to give me a Tyrell uh, for this faction. Royal Guard is not exactly a good nuker because it's enemy max HP, so he's not going to one-shot champions. But Jingle Hunter can hit relatively hard, right? All right, then let's try another team, which is the one that I usually use for this uh, tournament, because again, those champions are as is, all right? So I do have myself a Gorgrom, which is ready to go, so that's always good. I have myself a Harvest Jack and a big shield set, so that's always nice. I've got myself a, um, what's his face, Rodos. I actually have a second one, but he's not built, so I'm not going to build him just for this. The whole point again here, guys, is that I'd like literally just take these champions Put them in and hopefully it works uh so then let's grab another undead uh seeker does not have any gear on i suppose he could do the job i guess it's gonna have to be muscle mesh so very tanky very strong power i should be able to handle this bot team right we're gonna go full auto here again because uh yeah that's the only way i want this to work we get totally got frozen by this really overpowered torment now which by the way i'm almost done building my second one so eventually i might have another working team for this uh, but as you can see right there, boom, yeah, Rodos is going to do all the work. So this works. So this is what got me second place last time. And a, uh, two of these champions are fusion champions. Hopefully you've gotten them. If not, then tough luck. Sorry. All right, and now let's work with the team that you could be using, which is 100% free to obtain you are guaranteed to get all of these champions after a certain amount of time and um it might not work especially against this team but that's the whole point we want to see just how well this is going to perform also these champions are not tuned i'm um i'm gonna say that probably this is gonna be uh completely in the wrong order but hey just for the heck of it let's see what happens against the bots here all right full auto and uh, they got some massive shields, but we get some stuns across the board. We even get a relentless proc from our uh, Sile the Drake. So we got a one-shot kill from our Berserker and then a 
almost killed champion's AoE, right? I mean, you know, this can work as well. So I've had this Berserker geared for a very long time. He is in my faction wars. I think he's very underrated. But guys, he's a fantastic nuker ignores defense we on top of that have aoe decrease defense again you are guaranteed to get these champions uh because two of them are farmable in the campaign and then two of them are part of the login rewards so if all you're doing is farming bots do not go out of your way to build a team for this that's the whole point of this quick video guys is to simply show to you that even this basic team here can work now what i could do to make this better but i'm not I could increase the speed on my Hecatune for her to be above the style of the Drakes. And I do believe that War Maiden is perhaps on par with the Hecatune. So I would just want to make sure that, uh, you know, I get speed boost, AoE stun, AoE decrease defense into my Berserker to nuke. Let me quickly show you the gear of these champions so that hopefully this can help you guys out. Although I'm pretty sure you're not going to use this team. So we do have a Relentless style the drakes with 262 speed 4.5k defense good amount of resistance and accuracy i mean she could probably solo some teams right but we don't have war master on this champ okay i went with like a very defensive and support uh type of masteries because of the way i use her in the doom tower which is basically the only place and faction wars that i use this champ all of her skills are done in case you guys are wondering then we've got our uh trusty high Katoon, which i now pretty much much only also use doom tower and faction wars but mainly for the scarab king all right so full speed ahead in a sense but we also needed a lot of accuracy so she has only only 230 speed uh which is slower than Sal the drakes 350 accuracy and the rest of the stats really don't matter that much for this we have speed pieces all the skills are done and two pieces of perception actually and uh i think it's a sorry let me go back it's an accuracy chess piece in case you guys are wondering Masteries, we have War Master along with uh, some defense uh, masteries here for basically a clan boss build, all right? So that was the idea behind doing these masteries, but now it also works for the Doom Tower and Faction Wars. Then let's do our trusty War Maiden, which I still use. War Maiden is great. And uh, as for her gear here, we have a full speed ahead and uh, for the total stats, 229 speed. We've got 2.6k attack, although it doesn't really matter. Uh, decent amount of crit damage, but again, doesn't really matter. She's there, just there to kind of debuff, right? That's her number one job. 270 accuracy, which is good for uh, pretty much everything except the Doom Tower. And for this, we have, I think it's just an HP percent chest. All the skills are done. Can you believe it? I maxed out this champion. Mm-hmm. And uh, for the masteries, we have War Master into support. This was probably never changed from when I used her, uh, when I literally just started out the game. So again, it works and uh, we like it just like that. And our trusty Berserker, which has basic attack gear, which hopefully you have on your account. So we're not showcasing some crazy, cruel or savage gear. Although I could take the gear from my Foley, put it onto this guy, but I'm not gonna do that because I wanna prove to you guys that it can work with 5K attack and 166 speed, 64% crit rate, 230% uh, crit damage, no accuracy needed on this guy. Also, all the skills are done. Can you believe that? I literally did him and War Maiden with dupe champions when I started out two years ago, because yeah, I am going on two years of playing this game. Flawless execution. This could be Helm Smasher, uh, but the reason I went with these masteries, this was for him as a solo champion to farm Brutal 12-3, which works if you put 100% crit rate. He can do it in about 16, 12 to 16 seconds, which is very reasonable. So guys, there you have it. Quick snapshot of the Great Hall in case we're trying to compare stats, you know. But um, that's my advice to you guys, all right? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.